Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Ben Pierre, and on today's episode, we're doing one of my favourite things, and that's to cover brand new distilleries. Now, I, I love covering all the old scotches, I love covering things from around the world, but I'm a massive fan of all these new distilleries coming through, and I love seeing what they're creating to try and kind of like, not, not necessarily infiltrate the Scotch market, but obviously they're looking for market share, right? So they've got to do something that's fairly interesting. That's probably the basics, but yeah, today we've got this wonderful Scottish name, and I, I always struggle with these names, but I think this is pronounced Torvague. Thank you to the Malt Whiskey Yearbook for its pronunciation guide on that one. But yeah, this is a really brand new distillery, opened in 2016 on the Isle of Skye. Obviously well known for Talisker, but uh, this is the second distillery on the island. Really, really new stuff. They've only had a couple of bottlings out, a few specials, and then this is the Legacy C series. Legacy series. They've done two releases of that at a lower strength, and now this is the batch strength version of the Alt Glen, 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 something like that. Now, straight away, I'm interested in that. It's 61.1%. Uh, it's only a couple of years old, but it, you know, there's so much information already on the box. I wasn't going to bring the box up till later, but as soon as I've done it anyway. Now, there's a couple of things about the box. I don't, I haven't been covering boxes recently. You probably noticed I've been mentioning it a few times recently. Using this kind of pedestal system, I only really have room for the bottle now, so I tend to take the the, the thing away, and that's helping me in my kind of no nonsense approach by allowing me to just talk about the bottle and the liquid. But every now and again, I have something to say about the box. Now. This is a, uh, a a thing of two halves for me. Some good, well, mostly good, and then something comical at least. The good stuff is that there's loads of information on the front of this box here. For example, uh, American oak had uh, bourbon in it. Uh, um, I happen to know from the website that it's uh, also mostly first fill and then refill casks. So yeah, time in cask 60 plus months. Peat in grain, 78 ppm, so heavily peated. Residual peat, so that's the peat that's uh, back in the liquid after distillation, 22.8 ppm. Uh, cask fill level 63.4, bottling strength 61.1, so we like that. Um, comical then, and this is starting to loosen up a little bit, but when I first got this, I really struggled to open the box. It's it's kind of, it's on there, but it's loosening up now, so if you, if you have that issue as well, I spoke to somebody else who got a bottle and they also struggled. So I think it's just a case of it being a brand new box. But there is a kind of pressure point that you can push and it'll, it'll slide off. But yeah, if that's happened to you as well, then let me know in the comments below. Because that's a funny, a funny little thing. Because I was joking that um, on my recent video that it, it acts almost like a, a guard whiskey in itself. Usually you have to hide things behind other whiskies, but it adds in it because it's just difficult to get into. But yeah, like I said, that's starting to ease out already. You can see that's easing, but it's still, it's still on there. But yeah, funny. Anyway, moving on from that, that's going in the recycling after this video, so no longer a problem for me. But yeah, let's get into this one then and see what we've actually got in the glass. Non chill filtered, natural color, so we can talk a little bit about this. It's got a lovely, just a touch better than straw, like almost kind of like a white wine vibe to it, but we like that. It means it's naturally presented. Let's get onto the nose then. Oh, do you know what? I've been saying recently that um, obviously I discovered Pete while I was doing this channel um, in 2016 when actually, funnily enough, this place opened. I uh, didn't really like Pete that much, but I decided that I couldn't ignore it anymore because I was doing reviews for you guys. There was a whole section of whiskey that I basically couldn't, I couldn't review, and I, I, you know, so I thought I'd better try hard. And eventually, I, it it won me over. And now I love it. And when I get a nose like this, it's just it's everything I love about peated whiskey. It's for me, it's it's not on the medicinal side of things like Lafroig. It's more like barbecue smoke, like literally, you know, you're standing out there flipping your burgers, and the smoke's going in your face. That kind of vibe. A little bit of smoked salmon, it's definitely gone the fishier side of things. There's a little bit of brine there and a bit of seaweed. Some sweetness at the back end. Let's try on the palate. Mm hmm. Okay, now this is a palette of probably three thirds, three parts. If you're lucky and you're quick and your palate is, is susceptible to these things, you'll have an initial 
sweetness period that's kind of like sweet vanillas. Typical of your ex-bourbon vibes. But you don't get long, so you, there's a very brief moment where you can just taste that. Very quickly after that, the salinity and the brininess and seaweed comes through. Funnily enough with this, the smokiness and the high ABV doesn't hit until a little bit later on. Um, obviously I'm talking about this expansively, but this is all happening within a couple of seconds. So, you know, you, you enjoy these moments, but it's definitely a clear, for me at least anyway, a clear, you get this and then you get that. It isn't all happening at once. It's like a little linear taste expression. Obviously it's high smoke and high peat at the back end, uh, leaning again onto those kind of like burnt woods rather than the kind of ashen or the medicinal side of things. So it's definitely in that kind of like live fire, bonfire zone of peat and smoke. But it's huge, you know, uh, I, I drink a lot of cast drink whiskey, so I'm kind of getting used to it now, but 61.1%, it's an absolute monster. Let's try another little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huge. And it's, I mean, it's obviously really heavily peated. So really what you want to be doing there is listening to the tasting notes I've given you. If you're sitting there going, oh, you know, seaweed, don't like the sound of that. Not the dram for you. If you're like me and you're going, yes, I love that, then definitely the dram for you. The finish is kind of long, it's definitely long. I was gonna say medium long, it's definitely on the long side of things. There's a little bit of sweetness on the back end again, but it's smoke that, that runs all the way through this. Absolutely beautiful. But yeah, for me, stunning whiskey. 75 pound this is, um, you know, some of the other releases were a little bit cheaper, 55 pounds, but I think the step up between this and to now they go to the car strength version, sorry, versus the previous, it's well worth that extra 20 quid. Now I know we're, we're in that zone where we're talking a lot about, um, I mean, I was literally earlier this week covering 18 year old blended Johnny Walker um, for five pounds less than this. But we're in, we're, that's where we're at right now, is that you, 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 can, have, you can have your age stated scotch, but you can't have it cheap but you, in youthfulness for you know this is i don't know 60 months it's not it's not long in a cask at all but we kind of have to let that go a little bit you know the number the number that appears on on here is is irrelevant to your drinking experience it's great to have we always like to see it but it is irrelevant to your drinking experience so the youthful whiskies that are coming through now when they're done properly and they're done with quality and care and precision like this is it's it's worth that money 100% it's worth that money. Again, I'm not saying that it, everyone should just, you know, get their credit cards out and buy it, you know, all, always buy within your means. It is a lot of money, but it will make it more special in the long run because you can put this at the back of your cabinet and get it out whenever you fancy having some peat. But I'm going to enjoy this absolutely stunning whiskey. Really impressed with these guys. And uh, yeah, hopefully you check it out as well. But if you have checked it out already, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Let me know what you think of the distillery in general. Would love to get over there and see them one day, but um, you know I struggle to get to Scotland, uh, let alone going to Sky. But I am going to Glasgow Whiskey Festival this week, so that's awesome. Cheers again, and I'll see you again on more videos coming soon.